Hi everyone and welcome to Drake Tech Australia in New Zealand. My name's Darren and this is introducing the Drake Tech Vigor 2620L series and the Vigor LTE 200 series routers. Both series are very similar with one notable exception. The 2620L series has a built-in ADSL VDSL2 modem while the LTE 200 series does not. Both have a configurable LAN WAN port which can either be used as an extra LAN port or configured to connect to any type of internet connection that requires an Ethernet WAN port like cable internet, NBN, hybrid fiber, FTTP, FTTC, fixed wireless and satellite internet connections. And they both also have a gigabit LAN port to plug into a PC or into a switch if you need more than two wired ports. But the big draw card on both series is the built-in LTE modem which just needs a SIM. The LTE connection can either be the main connection or set up as a failover if the primary ADSL, VDSL or Ethernet WAN connection goes down. There's actually two SIM slots, the lower one is the primary LTE connection and if you like you can also put another SIM in the top slot and that one will kick in automatically if the first one drops out. Speed wise the LTE modems can support up to 150 megabits per second downstream and 50 megabits per second upstream. Supported bands are 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 28 on 4G LTE FDD, band 40 on TDD and 1, 2, 5 and 8 on 3G WCDMA. Connecting to LTE also opens up the possibilities for setting up a temporary Wi-Fi hotspot with internet access in all kinds of scenarios like in a car or a tour bus, outdoor markets, sporting events and concerts and temporary offices and construction sites to name just a few. The router only needs 12 volt 1 amp so even the cheaper power inverters from electronic suppliers should do the trick if you need to run the router from a car battery. And because we're dealing with the mobile phone network here, we can also do some really cool things with SMS, such as the router sending you an SMS if it hits a specified quota, or you can send an SMS to the router to tell it to reboot. The router can also text you back with its current status. You can lock that down to up to three authorised phone numbers if you like to prevent anyone who knows the number from being able to send a text to it. Each series comes in both wireless and non-wireless versions. Although at the time of recording this video, the non-wireless LTE 200 is yet to be released. The antennas you see here are for the LTE connection. The Wi-Fi antennas are actually hidden away inside. The Wi-Fi version is the popular 300 megabits per second, 2.4 gigahertz, 802.11n standard. You can also manage up to two additional access points on your network from the same console using the central management feature. Another very useful feature is they can be configured to work in bridging mode. That basically means turning off all of the internet sharing and security features to turn them into plain modems so they can be plugged into another more advanced router or firewall. For example, I could run a 2620L in bridging mode and connect it to the Ethernet WAN port in a more advanced router like the 3220 series as either the primary internet connection or as a failover secondary connection for backup or for load sharing, say with a VDSL connection as illustrated here with a bridge Vigor 130. This will allow me to take advantage of all the security features and throughput that the 322 router has to offer and also use an LTE connection for internet access. To configure the 2620L for bridging, simply go to the web GUI and select WAN, Internet Access, then select Details page for the LTE connection, then tick the box to enable bridge mode. But as standalone devices, they do come with quite an impressive set of features to suit a home or small business as well, including two VPN tunnels, support for IPv4 and IPv6, up to eight VLANs, a dynamic DNS client, IP-based firewall policy, port redirection, open ports, DMZ host, UPnP, content filtering with an optional subscription filter service available, QoS and denial of service attack defense, and they're supported by the Vigor ACS2 central management system so they can be monitored and configured remotely. On the front we have some link lights to tell us what's plugged in and if we're online or not. In the box we have a product registration card, a quick start guide, a phone cable in the 2620L series to connect to the ADSL or VDSL outlet. We have an Ethernet cable to connect to a PC or switch, or if we're connecting our Ethernet WAN port to another modem, or if we're configuring our LTE router in bridging mode to connect to another router or firewall device. 
There's also some screws included in the box if you want to mount it on the wall. On the bottom, the router has some slots to allow for that. And the package even includes a template to make it easy to figure out where to put the screws on the wall. The web GUIs are very similar between the two series apart from the ADSL VDSL settings available in the 2620 series. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the 2620LN, which is the wireless one with the built-in ADSL VDSL modem. So we'll see options for that that we won't see on the LTE 200 series. And we also have Wi-Fi settings that you won't see on the non-wireless versions. Okay, so to get into the web GUI, it comes up on IP address 192.168.1.1. And the username and password are both admin. Once we're in, we'll get this little warning about the router being set to the default password. It's always advisable to change that. And then we're presented with our familiar Draytech dashboard. So we have this little graphic here, which tells us that we've got power, obviously, or we wouldn't be connected to it. Whether we're connected to DSL, LTE, and whether the Wi-Fi is on, and you can see here I'm connected to port one at 100 megabits per second. Up the top here, we've got some shortcuts. The homepage will take us to draytech.com. That's a handy way to check if you're online. The GUI map will give us everything in the menus on the left-hand side there, all on one page. A web console will give us access to our console for command line interface. Uh, we can save a, a backup file of the configuration settings and we can log out. Over here it'll automatically log us out after a specified period of time up to 10 minutes. Dashboard, we've got some wizards to get us online and all the other settings easily. Online status, a physical connection, this will tell, tell us what we're connected to and for how long. Virtual WAN, our WAN settings, internet access, multi-PVC, LAN settings, we've got our general setup that's got our DHCP server settings, our VLAN settings, bind IP to MAC if we want any devices on our network to always get the same IP address, our routing if we need to set any static routes, NAT, this is where we set up our port forwarding or port re redirection, our DMZ hosts, open ports, ALG, firewall settings, object settings is where we set the objects for our firewall rules, Content security management, bandwidth management, here's our QoS settings, applications, there we find our dynamic DNS client, amongst other things, our VPN setup, as our LTE setup, general settings, wireless LAN settings, general setup, and our security settings, SSL VPN setup, system maintenance, that'll show us our system status, TRO69 settings for our um, ACS2 central management system. Down here we've got some diagnostics so we can uh, do various things like ping test to see if we're online and, or what the ping results might be. And down here's our central management. I'll include a link in the description below where you can uh, have a test drive of this yourself to check it out in more detail. Okay. So there we have the Viga 2620L and Viga LTE 200 series routers. They come with a two year back to base warranty and are available now from Draytech resellers. For more information about these and all other Draytech products, please check out our website at www.draytech.com.au. If you have any questions, please comment below or you can send us an email to sales at draytech.com.au or even give us a call on 0298 388 once again, I'll include a link below to a test drive of the configuration menus if you'd like to check it out in more detail. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Give the bell a click too if you'd like a notification of new videos as they go up. Thanks and bye for now.